Well, it's a real honor to receive the Writing in the Disciplines Award. I work very hard with my students on teaching them writing, and so I'm very pleased to get this recognition. One thing I like to do with students that helps uh, them improve their writing is to identify at the beginning of the semester with their first writing assignment two or at most three things that they need to work on, and then we focus all semester on improving those couple of things. The second thing uh, I find is really helpful is to sit down with each student in my office and go over their papers, sometimes uh, page by page, sometimes sentence by sentence, to help them understand what it is they could be doing better and how to do it better. I find in order to help students learn to write better, they really need good examples of how to write better. And so I find it's really important to show students the ways in which they can improve their own writing. And so what I like to do is sit down with them and show them here's a sentence that isn't so well written, how can you do it better, and then watch them edit it. In that way I learn how they edit and, and how they can write better, and I can often help them find new ways to improve their writing. One technique that I find useful for helping students learn to write better is to, to get them to look at writing the way they look at something that they are already expert in. I use the example of tennis. I love playing tennis, and I talk about how in order to improve my tennis game, the, the kinds of struggles I go through. And I say, you know, you may not know tennis, but you have something you're expert in. And think about how you would teach that thing you're expert in to someone who's not so expert. And then think about how you might apply that to your own writing. And I find students often can understand that analogy, and then it helps them improve their writing. What made me decide to become a professor in the first place was I was really lucky as an undergraduate myself. I had a a mentor who I admired a lot, and he gave me the opportunity to be his teaching assistant uh, as an undergraduate, which was a pretty rare thing, and, and to run discussion sections. And I found the very first day I got up in front of a classroom, I found that was what I loved. I hadn't at all planned to teach. I, I thought I was gonna try to have a career on Wall Street, but once I first stood in front of a class, I said, this is what I have to do. It feels really wonderful to win the um, Writing in the Discipline Best Assignment Award. I've put a lot of work into trying to figure out how to um, develop the students' uh, writing abilities through these assignments, so I'm thrilled to have some recognition of that. Well, what's most energizing for me in teaching is actually the seminar setting of my uh, Writing in the Discipline class. I usually teach this as a small seminar with not more than 12 or 13 students in it. And so there's no lecturing, it's entirely interactive, it's all discussion based. And I find that the most interesting in part because I learned so much from the students and what they're getting out of the reading and how they're reacting to the material. One technique that I've developed over the years that I find especially useful for teaching writing through the, the WIDGE seminar is to have weekly reaction papers assigned to the students. I use those as a kind of diagnostic tool in part so I can see where the students are in terms of their writing abilities, if they need intervention, <laughs> but also I can see if they're getting the material, if they're understanding the material. It's also a way to really enable um, a more developed discussion in class if, I, if I've guaranteed that the students have done the reading well enough to write a short reaction paper on it. They bring with them lots of ideas, things to discuss, and the seminar just runs a lot more smoothly. I decided to become a professor because I like learning so much and it seemed like the one way in which I could um, not only spend my whole life learning but have a lot of control over what I learn. I have a lot of autonomy in my job. I could decide what I want to research and, and largely what I want to teach and so that's one of the main reasons why I went into this profession in the first place. I feel like the most important thing we do at GW is prepare our students for their place in the world, especially in the workplace. And one of the best skills they can come out of here with is good writing skills and um, tied to good writing is also good thinking. You can't be a good writer if you're not a clear thinker. I find that the WIDGE seminar is an opportunity for me to develop both those abilities in, this, in the students and what I really enjoy um, seeing is how they develop those skills over the course of the semester. I've been teaching for writing and disciplines um, in psychology for five years now and I feel very proud to be receiving this teaching award from the Writing and the Disciplines program at GW, um, and I feel very excited to be representing psychology. For me, one of the most exciting uh, assignments that I've done with students is the multicultural blog post um, that I teach in multicultural psychology. Um, in this assignment, students integrate what they learn in their class, as well as research that they've read um, with their own personal experiences, uh, their opinions, their reflections related to a multicultural topic. Um, and it's very uh, interactive. 
students comment on each other's blog posts and every year that we do this, um, I'm really excited by just how creative students are. Having students read real psychology research papers and dissect the different sections in those papers has been a very helpful exercise. Um, I think the more examples, real examples, that students have, the more comfortable they feel writing their own reports. I was drawn to the mental health and clinical psychology field because of the opportunity to be in a helping profession that integrates clinical work, research, and writing. And in terms of my role as an instructor for the Writing in the Disciplines program, um, I just think that writing is such an important skill for students to have, no matter what the field or area that they're in. And um, it's so rewarding for me to be a writing instructor, um, helping them to build on that skill. And teaching writing for me also helps keep me on my toes and uh, helps me to continue honing my own writing skills.